All right, what's good? Can you believe this? Okay. This can't be happen, happening, or maybe it, it is happening. Okay. And it happens more often than you, than you think. So it's a small town in Minnesota that this radioactive plant is in. If I'm not mistaken, the name is Monticello. It's along the Mississippi River. That's like the basin of it where it starts around somewhere in Minnesota. And it trickles down to Louisiana. Okay. Uh, there was a radioactive spill. Okay. From that plant. And the spill is supposed to be very close to the river. Okay. And the, the, the chemical is called tritium. All right. It's some type of form of hydrogen. And according to news reports, in water, there's supposed to be 20,000 uh, units uh, per a certain amount of uh, water particles. Okay. Or... or um, in the H2O, okay? But the tritium or hydrogen content is in the millions. All right? And the XL, according to the news reports, now this happened in November. Between the state and the X X XL, they're working together to try to fix the situation. Okay? This article came out like three days ago. The incident happened, what, four or five months ago. All right. Why is it just, and the, and the citizens and residents of this town is caught off guard with this? I wonder what happened. I'm just maybe guessing. Maybe what do you think, the audience, since I don't know anything, okay? I'm always judging. Maybe did something leak out, okay? Maybe from an employee or whistleblower. Could be. This is just unbelievable. So, so this is like the fourth, fifth incident that I heard from or heard of in the last month. Okay. We've had like what? Three derailments. That's train derailments. A fuel tank blew up in suburban uh, DC by a neighborhood. Okay. And now we got this incident out there in Minnesota. That happened five uh, months ago, okay? With water particles, they probably already got in the Mississippi River, okay? I wouldn't be surprised, all right? Now, I don't know the effects that it put that, that it makes on people, but it's going to have probably some type of, of effect with radioactive waste or chemicals. You know? We really, uh, we really are under chemical warfare, affair, okay? But it's just like a, mani a benign fashion of it, okay? The stuff where they talk about in Revelations where the water is going to turn red and all this other stuff, storms, you know, this stuff is really happening. I mean, yeah, I know it happens, you know, with, uh, I don't know, natural disasters, that type of thing. But the, the magnitude and rate that is happening is just off the off the scale, probably with that, and then with the you know social media and the internet bringing all this stuff to light. Okay, again, maybe it's it's been going on, it's been going on for quite some time. You know, probably from the market era. Okay, where all those chemicals from all those markets up there, you know, the factories up in the northeast are dumped out there to the uh, the North Atlantic. Okay. Uh, was around what Massachusetts and I don't know New Hampshire and all that Connecticut, New York. Okay, I mean it's been going on, but wow, you know. As they say, you know, what Prophet Paul says, nothing new under the sun. So you know, back in those days, they didn't even have pollution. I know in the Book of Revelations they talked about pollu uh, pollution. Okay. And what was called, they didn't know what the land was, okay? But I, I think that, the, you know, the prophet John, the revelator, uh, the revelator, I think that he knew what it was, which is now the whore of Babylon or America, okay? That he spoke on uh, pollution. They predicted that, he predicted that, what, 2,000 years ago, okay? 
Okay. Just so you know, you know the John the Revelator was the only disciple out of twelve. The twelve that died a natural death. You know they all. Uh, everybody else was killed, martyred. But nevertheless, all right. Why I'm just saying though, I'm not saying that you can't enjoy uh, entertainment, leisure, and that type of stuff. But you really, really need to pay attention to current events and so forth. Okay. Because we are in, under warfare, okay? Along with taxes, what's going on in Eastern Europe and Asia, okay? And even here in America. Because like, you know, uh, a, a podcast today, we, some of y'all know, that say, uh, says that we're in a pandemic within a pandemic. So let me know what you think about the video. Thank you for your time. I'm going to head on to do some other things. How many of these incidents that's going to happen like this before enough is enough? That's just my question.